Uh, we've seen more and more people in this current climate over the past couple of years choosing renting over owning. What do you think? Is that trend going to continue? Yes, it's going to continue. And, and in fact, in the last quarter, you know, the, the second quarter numbers show that the renter pool is growing by three times the size of the home ownership pool. So it is uh, absolutely going to continue. Uh, you have the affordability gap is at the highest it's ever been. So it's now over $1,200 more per month to own your home versus renting a home. And so, yes, it is in the near term that that trend is going to continue. Yeah, a lot of people forced to kind of compare everything. So let's do that comparison this morning. How do mortgage rates and then rental rates to compare to each other right now? Yeah, so in, in the past year, home prices have risen by 5%. Rental prices have, have increased by 1%. And so that, that's obviously a, a difference there. Uh, when you look at, at home prices pre-COVID are up uh, almost 50 percent. Rental prices are up 26 percent. Uh, then you look at mortgage payments versus renting. Rent, you know, renting, uh, again, is up, up less than 25 percent. Mortgage payments are up over 90 percent pre-COVID because, because of where interest rates are. So the affordability gap is, is, is significant. And, and and not getting better anytime soon. Al Lord, thanks for the discussion and the insight this morning. Thanks, great to be with you, Mark.